like your song editor looking like this? Or like this. This is what you like, and you would like to learn how. Stay tuned, and don't go away. and welcome back so today I'm gonna work on teaching you guys how to change the colors in the song editor uh, so without further ado let me get started with this tutorial so uh, to do this the first thing that you need to do is that you need to open your instruments in the beat and baseline editor in order to be able to change the colors in the song editor so let's open up an instance right now of an instrument so let's choose uh, from my presets then uh, go into synth as sub effects and then click and open it. Let's choose a base. I'm going to choose base number five. So what you do is you right click, open a new instrument track BNB editor. And there you have it. It opened it up right here in the BNB editor, which is the beat and baseline editor. So uh, when you look at this, you're saying, okay, so how can I make different patterns in my song editor when uh, everything is all together clumped up in one. So if I was to play this here, my whole beat is going to be right here. So everything is right here. But we need to separate this. We need to have the uh, kicks in one place. We need to have uh, the, the uh, intro or in another, you know, just make everything separate. Um, so before I start, let me just uh, copy the baseline and let me show you how this is done. So what you need to do is you need to open another instance of the beat and baseline. So you click on it. Now you have a number one. So let's go back to the zero and I'm going to copy the kick. So I'm just going to hit copy. Go back to the number one, go to the base, right click and paste it. So now I have the pattern of the kick, same as the base. All right. And they're separate instances. So now we're going to do the same thing with the others. So we're going to take out the melody. We're going to open that up a new instance. Let's go back, copy the melody, go back to the second one here and then paste it. And then we're going to go back over here and we're going to erase this one to do that very easy. You right click it, you go down to clear all notes. There you have it. So now we're going to use the crash and we're going to open up two separate instances for each one of the crash. So let's open up one. Let's open up another one. All right. So let's go to the very first one. Let's copy this. And let's just erase it right now. And let's go to the third one, which is blank and put it right here. So right click and paste. And then we're going to go to the fourth one. Right click and paste it. Now we're going to do a little something different here. We're going to take this crash, open it up and we're going to reverse it. And it's very easy. Just click on the R and it's reversed. Let's, let's listen to this. All right. So now we're going to arrange our beat. Okay, so let's find out what was the first one here. So the first one is the drum pattern. So this is the drum pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to name this drums. So we come here and we're calling it drums and hit enter. And we're going to change the name right up here. So you right click right over it and then click on change name. Call it drums. And let's change the color. So you go, you right click it and you go to where it says change color. We're going to make this one blue, click on blue. And there you have it. Now it's blue. So what's the second one here? The second one is the baseline. I don't want the baseline. I think I want the melody. So this one is the melody, the number two here. So let's click on it. All right. And let's change the name to melody. Hit enter. Let's change the name here as well. Right click, go down to change name and melody. Hit enter. 
All right, so now we have the melody here. Let's change the color of the melody as well. So remember, you right click, go down, change color, and let's make that one red. Hit OK. And now we're going to go to the bass, which I think is the second one. So it'll be this one here. Right click, backspace, and let's call this bass. Hit Enter. Let's put the bass right here change the name of it hit enter and let's change the color red as well change color we're gonna make this one I don't know purple there we go hit OK and now we got the transition part of it so where are the transition it's this one down here which is the hi-hat so let's change the name to the crash crash let's put this right here and let's then change this one. Crash reverse. And let's click on it. Let's change the color of these to be, I don't know, change color to green. So green, I hit OK. So do the same thing with this one. So now it's time to arrange your beat. So uh, we're going to take the drum pattern, move it over, the bass, move it over. Uh, I'm going to move this one over here and this one over here and we're going to take the melody and we're going to carry all the way through to like this and like this. All right. So now we have the melody. That's the intro. We got these, uh, this crash that's reverse. That's a transition. And then we got the crash coming into the uh, drum pattern and the bass as well. So let's take a quick listen to the beat. As you listen, the bass was completely off key. So we just need to change the key of the bass. So what you do is you come here, you go to bass, open it up, and then control arrow down twice. And let's go back and listen to this again. So there you have it. That's how you change the colors of your song editor. Now, if this is something that you like and you want to do it yourself, now you learn something new that you can do with LMMS, how to change the colors on the song editor. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something new from this. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a blessed day.